Hello, my name is Henry Emfrey, and this is a Copper Cube game development tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a box go up and down, but I'm going to show you how to do that with JavaScript code. Of course, Copper Cube has those built in functions where you could most likely make the box go up and down using these pre built in functions and stuff. But in this tutorial, we're not going to use those built in functions so much. We're mostly going to use JavaScript to make this box go up and down. And this is just might be something that comes in handy for a game that you might be trying to make in Copper Cube. Okay, so first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna rename this box. So make sure the box is highlighted and make sure it's highlighted here. And we're gonna go to attributes and we're gonna rename this box Henry. So that's our player's name. Okay, so then we're going to go to create, we're gonna create a floor. We're gonna, we're gonna use a plane for the floor here. We just keep it like this. And then we're just gonna move our player up a little bit. Okay, so that's good enough. I'm just gonna left click to move around and then I'm gonna use the mouse wheel to position the editor in front of the box. So after that, I'm gonna just attach a camera to this to our player or to this box. So I'm gonna right click, insert, create a camera. Let's do a third person camera. We're going to uncheck this collide against geometry because this is just an example and I don't want anything to get messed up. And then we're going to click OK. And then we're going to select a node to follow Henry, which again, who's our player. All right, let's uh, scroll back. And then I guess the camera's on the other side of the box. So I'm going to reposition this camera. So click on camera. Uh, let me, let me, let's see, move it back. And I guess move it up. Red. I'm just gonna launch this game and see how this looks so far. It's almost okay. Okay, so we're just gonna move this camera back a little bit. That's kind of close. Let's move it back up here. And then we're gonna, I guess, move the camera up a little bit. Let's see. That's good enough for our purposes. Okay, so we set up our scene. So we're gonna click on the player. Before I do anything else, we're just going to make this a little cleaner instead of all this jumble. These positions have to do with the X, Y, Z positions. This first zero has to do with going right and left. This 5.50121 has to do with going up and down, with, which is in the Y axis. And this 0, 0.0 has to do with going forward and backwards on the Z axis. And we're not going to deal with the X and Z axis in this tutorial. We're only concerned with the Y axis. So we're just going to make this a little cleaner and just make this five because it's a little easier, easier to read and there's no need to have all the decimals at the end of five. Okay, so now we got our positions. Now we're going to make sure Henry is highlighted. We'll go to behaviors. We'll click the plus. We'll go to behavior triggered by event. We'll go to when a key is pressed, do something. And then in this key box, if we're going to make it so if we press the U button, U for up, that will be what makes our box go up. And make sure it's when the key is pressed down. And then in this not action, we'll click these three dots, click the plus, uh, special, execute JavaScript. Now, we're going to put our code inside this second box here. So click the dots. Okay, so we got this box. Now I'm just going to leave this box here. And now I'm going to go into Microsoft Word. Now this is the code that we're going to be using. This is the code that's going to make the player go up. What I did was I created a variable called Henry. I could have named it anything I wanted. I could have named this player. But then after I used this variable, I would have had to put it here and here. See, and it would have got the same result. I like to keep everything consistent with what I'm doing. So I gave the variable the same name as the actual player. We took this name, which brings in this player that we have, and we stuck it here via this function right here called CCB get scene node from name. So that's that's what we did. So that's how we bring our player player into our code here. We put its name here. Okay, so then we took account of the player's position, and we put that on a variable too. You see this position, we took this position right here, you know, where it's at on screen, 
and we specified what we're referring to, which is the player, and its position. So we get our player's position, the CCB get node, get seen node property, and stick it here on this function here. And we stuck that on a variable too, called current position, which is what mean current position. So next, this tutorial is about moving the cube up and down. So we're dealing with the y-axis, and we want our player to go up five pixels per second. Minus means to go up. If we had a plus, if there was no minus here, it would go down. We create a, a variable for our player to move and stuck it on this vector, so it, which deals with going up. You know, this zero right here, this has to do with going right and left. And this other zero here has to do with the z direction going forward and backwards. But in, again, in this tutorial, we're not dealing with the right and left and forward and backwards movement. That is, we're not dealing with the x and z movement. We're just dealing with the y movement having to do with going up and down. So that's why we've got this middle variable here. And we're moving it along a vector. We also attached our player's movement to a variable too. So that's our movement. So then... Then we had to factor in where our player will be every time we move. And while we're moving in 3D space, we just need a way to keep track of where our player is while we're moving. In essence, we just need a way of storing where our player is on screen as it moves. And that's with this variable here. And this function here takes our player's new position variable and sets our player's new position every time we move around on screen. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so now take this. I'm going to just copy it. And then, remember that screen we left like this? We're just going to paste this in here. It's going to be all jumbled up a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, so after we paste this in, we're just going to press OK. So that's for going up. So let's just test this. We're just going to test our game and see if it works. Okay, so here's our scene. Press the U button. The box goes up. Yay! And then the next part is just easy. So we're just going to close this out. We're just going to click the plus, And we're going to go... Behavior triggered by events when a key is pressed, do something. Now we're trying to deal with going down, so we're just gonna make this in has to do with going down because for on a computer's keyboard, the in is directly below the U, so we'll use that to make keep it easy. Okay, so so we just do the same thing we just did a second ago make sure your key is pressed down, action set. We press these three dots, click this plus. Go to special, execute JavaScript, and we go back to three boxes here. And we can paste in the same code, but with one difference. We change the minus to plus. Remember, usually in dealing with game programming, minus has to do with going up, plus has to do with going down. So this one little plus here will cause our player to go down when we press the end button. So click OK. Click OK, and now we're going to launch our game again, and now we'll see what happens. Okay, so we already established that our player can go up when the button is pressed. But now when we press the end button, our player goes down. It, you know, it collides through the floor because we didn't put any collisions on it, but you get the point. It goes up, and it goes down. Okay, so that was the point of this tutorial. Whatever you use this code for, I'm just putting it out here so it's there in case you need it. Or whatever game you might be trying to make. And this is a way of showing you how coding works, not just the pre-built in functions, but using actual JavaScript to build your game. Till next time. Thanks. Bye. Duh.